good evening. Sorry if I seem a bit flustered. I've just witnessed a murder. There was a gang, a rush, an ambush. You'll realise, of course, that what I've seen is a large group of crows, then elks, poachers and tigers. We're talking collective nouns. If I'd seen a real murder, I wouldn't be here. I'd be talking to a sleuth of bears. Anyway, we better crack on because uh, many of you will be thinking that maintaining this conceit is an utter implausibility of gnus. <laughs> <laughs> Here are some other groups. On my right, Anthony Martinelli, an NHS doctor who investigated the effect of cannabis products on the arteries of a rat. Maggie Huang, a PhD candidate who's written an essay entitled Why So Many Sperm? And their captain, Sophie Lovick, a junior doctor who fell into Stephen Hawking's lap while exiting the ladies' loos. All medics working for the NHS, they are the scrubs. Last time, uh, Sophie, you had a great show, a ten-point wall, and knocked out some fellow medics. Uh, but I think you were glad because it meant you didn't have to change your shift. Yes, quite. But it means that I finished nights yesterday morning. I wish you luck this evening. This time you are facing, on my left, Chris Thorpe a journalism graduate who lost control of his donkey while on holiday in Greece. Rachel Scott Halls, an earth sciences graduate who attempted to run between every Northern Line station on the London Underground but broke her jaw after two minutes. And their captain, Catherine Drum, an educational technologist who dislocated her kneecap on a dance floor. All current and former employees of the City University of London Library, they are the librarians. Catherine, with your history, it's lucky we've got some doctors on standby. And this is actually a rematch. These teams have met before. What happened last time? Uh, last time it got down to a tiebreaker. And uh, luckily we just managed to clinch it on that. Let's kick off. Your opponents won the toss, but they've elected to put you in first. So please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> Next, please. I don't know the Next, please. Do you think we all got the same thing? Next, please. Um, they're all called Brian. They are not all called Brian, so a possible bonus chance for you, Scrubs. Are they all naked? I mean, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're not all naked. In fact, I would say none of them is naked, apart from maybe the cats. No, you're closer, because it, it is to do with names, but not Brian. Uh, okay. They do all have the same name. Oh. 25 of Andy Warhol's cats were called Sam. The residents of Rock Ridge and Blazing Saddles, all called Johnson, presumably sort of joke about kind of small town breeding. Waiters at the Beefsteak Club are all referred to as Charles. And the idea is uh, uh, sort of men who call all women darling, you know, mm. so you don't have to remember the individual names. And this cricket match, uh, this was two cricket teams uh, playing in Bradford where all 22 players had the surname Patel. <laughs> Yorkshire LPS, it's a team that's predominantly for the Patidar community, and the club secretary, uh, Ishi Patel, said, uh, often we've met this team before, and uh, there have been 21 Patels lining up against each other, but on this occasion, our regular wicketkeeper, who is not called Patel, had to go to London for work. <laughs> <laughs> Scrubs, what would you like? A Hornet Viper, please. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Six to eight stars. Um, so we've got Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and star. And, and that's four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's, yeah so Saturn and um, Neptune. Oh, yeah, yes. Next, one. please. Oh, no. Six to eight. Not so much. Not Next, much please. It's the number of numbers in the letter, isn't it? Numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, next. Next. Maggie? Oh, sorry. Um, so there are... The first number represents the number of letters there are in the top word, and... Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work out I'm no. afraid it no. doesn't. Librarians, your chance for a bonus now. I think if you take 
the letters of the thing above it. It spells out the thing below it. Um, so the months you would have... Uh, Spell, um, it spells out Jason. So. I think you've got it. That's <laughs> exactly it. right. We are looking for letters to spell out something mm. at the bottom, but it is that. So the planet mm. six to eight away from the sun, Saturn, Uranus, yeah. Neptune so. spells. Sun, S-E-N-T, the beginning of seven, eight, nine and ten. And the rainbow colours, what are they? Yeah. Roy Orbison. <laughs> Roy Orbison, exactly <laughs> so. Described by Elvis <laughs> Presley as the greatest singer in the world. Yeah. R-O-Y, Roy, the big O. Well done, so you get the bonus and the chance to choose a question. What would you like? Uh, twisted Flax. The Twisted Flax. <coughs> oh. It's the music question. You'll be hearing your clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Will I ask you what a way to treat a guy? What a way to cheat it? Two seconds. Um, songs about other singers? Uh, not it. <laughs> I think you recognise the last yeah. one. It's a tricky one, this. Do you know, Scrubs? Good products. Good products. Uh, food products. So I see. Exactly. You all knew American Pie <laughs> at the end there. It is the names of the artists that are the key factor here. So we've got Don oh, McLean, oh, Terence Trent oh, Darby, yeah. oh. Rivers. We also heard from DC Lee and the first one, Eden Kane. Well, I ask you, the names of the performers contain the names of British Rivers. Mm -hmm. What would you like next, Scrubs? Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Bonnie. Like Bonnie the dinosaur? Dinosaur, yeah. Like that. From. Like, could these be characters and something? Or, we, or is Lewis Brown like Charlie Brown's dad or something? Uh, these parents of, of cartoon characters? Should we see another Next, one? please. Bo and Sonny. Again. Bo um, Peep. I, uh, oh, we better both. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. They're parents of comic strip characters. Yeah, that's a very good guess. Uh, you could imagine they absolutely could be. Yeah. But no. Librarians, do you know? Um, cousins. <laughs> I mean, in a way, they probably are cousins, but in a way, aren't we all cousins, yeah. really? <laughs> We're all cousins. I'm surprised you don't know Bo and Sonny. They are the dogs that belong to President Obama. Oh, oh. Obama, yes. First dogs, him and her, the beagles of Lyndon B. Johnson. Lewis Brown, the Afghan hound of Jimmy Carter. Barney and Miss Beasley belong to George Bush, George W. Bush, Scottish Terriers, Bo and Sonny. Do you know what sort of dogs? Bowen Portuguese Sonny? water spaniels, is it? That sort of thing. Portuguese, Portuguese water, water dogs. dogs. Why do you think we didn't do a sequence question about first dogs? Why couldn't we have a sequence? Because Donald Trump didn't have any pets. That's right, Donald Trump doesn't like dogs. Yeah. GQ magazine said, in Trump's tiny mind, dogs are venal and treacherous creatures. <laughs> the funny thing is that there are things yeah. wrong with dogs, but treachery <laughs> is generally not one of them. The, the big thing about dogs, untreacherous, <laughs> is one of the first adjectives you'd reach for. Librarians, what would you like? Uh, water, please. Water. This is going to be the picture question. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Is that someone from... Yeah. 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 Uh, next, please. Um, which one's that? Is that one? Yeah. So, uh, next, please. Oh, um, um, Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, have, we, have we got other... Are they all Chamberlains? Oh, no, he wasn't Chamberlain. Uh, next, please. Phil Collins. Phil Collins and Emma Chamberlain. That's Chambers, isn't it? Chambers, 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 Chambers. Two seconds. Chris, anything? Dictionaries. Is the right oh. answer. Well done, Chris. You pulled that out the bag at the last minute. <laughs> Who are we looking at? Uh, it's Phil Collins mm -hmm. and Emma Chambers. Yeah. Um, and Do you know who that is a clue to? 
Name? It's Harold Macmillan. Oh, it was Macmillan. It was Macmillan. Macmillan. Oh. And the first one, Beth Webster from the Eggheads, oh. shown here, of course, in a more important quizzing appearance. Yeah. She was a, a contestant on Only Connect. Mm. Scrubs, one question remains. The two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, he's all written down in backwards, aren't they? In the mirror. Yeah. mirror. In mirror writing. Do, do you want, want to, to see another one or should we go? Um, I think try, try I think try for it. Yeah, or written oh. in a written in a in a code and then if you just say mirror writing, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Are you or sure? You, I'm not sure. Do you want to see another Next, one? Next, please. That's is that the shining. Sick. Um, but I'm not any more sure or less sure. Are they all mirror writing? Yes, they are. You're Sorry, off the blocks and up to two oh. points. Very well done. What can you tell me about the clues we're looking at? That they're all written in mirror writing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you clearly you knew about Leonardo da Vinci. He basically he wrote forwards if he intended something to be read, mm -hmm. but his personal notes he wrote backwards. Um, and uh, Matteo Zaccolini, have you heard of him? Sounds like a political theorist from the... 17th century. He's not really politics, but a theorist certainly wrote a treatise on colour and he wrote that in mirror writing, possibly as a tribute to da Vinci. Uh, a door in the Overlook Hotel, that's where's that shining. from? The Shining, and that's right, and it says red rum oh, over yeah, a door. Yeah, I think yeah. one of the letters yeah. is the right way round, but uh, it's murder backwards, very spooky, and the front of an ambulance, of course. Why is that in mirror writing? So you can see it in your mirror when you're driving? Exactly so. So if something roars up behind you that's all yellow and green and going Nino, Nino, you're not sure is, you can have a look oh. and you know it's an ambulance. Well done. That means at the end of round one, the scrubs have two points, the librarians have two points. And now it's time for round two. Librarian, you can go first again. What would you like? Uh, Eye of Horus. OK, the Eye of Horus, you'll be seeing the first in a series of clues. What would you expect to come forth? Time starts now. Next, please. Men's Revolution. Just a order of finals or something. Right, so just just. First Manchester City 2020. No, first Liverpool 2020. Hello. Oh, you're Chris. <laughs> first <laughs> Liverpool 2020, men's team 2020. I, I don't think we can take that. Scrubs, do you know for a bonus? First. Uh, men's Cricket One Day International Team 2019. That's it, or just first Men's Cricket 2019. What's the sequence? This is performance of English teams at World Cups in 2019. It's World Cup finishing positions. So well done, you get the bonus point and your own question. What would you like? Honoured Viper, please. OK, what would come forth in this picture sequence? Oh, Here's the first. Brain. Next, please. On your, is it on your marks? On your marks. Or does it get set? Right. Uh, next, please. Basket, Basket case. case. Brain case. Brain case. Oh, is it Green Day albums or something? Sorry, Green Basket yeah. case with Green Day album. So it's Brain Race Basket Case. Is this a word or like brain a phrase? Race basket Case. This is a song, isn't it? It's it's lyrics in song. With those. <laughs> Oh, this is from the Breakfast Club. Um, a very mathy, a basket case, um, or, or Two a seconds. princess. Or, yeah. um, it, is it pr a princess? It is a princess. <laughs> We're looking here at lovely Princess Charlotte. What's going on? Uh, this, these are the, the people in the Breakfast Club in the closing monologue. Exactly. So each one of us is a brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a dropout. A criminal. criminal cool. I'm glad you got that. I thought I was going to have to shout, don't you forget about me. <laughs> I'm going to shout with my fist in the air. Librarians, what would you like? A uh, lion. Lion, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, is it Elon Musk's child? Yes. Elon, but I don't know what the name it is. Was it got 12. Epsilon or something at the end? Maybe. Should we get, 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 get,
Was it a number? Yeah, it's Isn't it like 12? Yeah, like 17, 12. 12. But it's, it's XII. Oh, it's Should we just say 12? Yeah. 12 is the right answer. And why? We think this is the name of Elon Musk's child. That's right. He's the child of Elon Musk and Grimes. You remind me how it's pronounced. Uh, I don't think even they know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they certainly don't agree. I th th she says it's XAIA12, and he says, no, the second character is pronounced Ash, so it'd be XAIA12. Scrubs, what would you like? Twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Is it Shakespeare? Could be. Mm. Mm. Next, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not an April face, is it? Well, it's before March, February. No, oh, it could be a February face. Uh, next, please. No. Okay. So August, March. July? Like a summer. April. April. April when they were just up in the red. So something that's May. It's May? Yeah, that's May. Yeah, May is so a Shakespeare quote with May. Um, mm. Darling Buds. Darling Buds of May. Yeah, yeah, yeah try yeah. that. Uh, Darling Buds of Blank. Is. An acceptable answer. Very well done. What's happening here? Uh, the, the, the blanks are successive months, so uh, I assume it's a February face. Mm -hmm. The Ides of March, men are April when they woo, December when they wed. That's right. We're missing a sequence of months in what? Shakespeare. In quotes from Shakespeare. You have such a February face so full of frost, of storm and cloudiness from much ado about nothing. Do you know where the other quotes are from? Well, we know the Ides of March is, is Julius Caesar. Caesar. Julius Caesar. Men are April when they woo, December when they wed. That's as you like it. Mm. And uh, uh, rough winds do shake the darling buds of May as a sonnet. Back to you, librarians, for a choice. Water, please. Water. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. No idea. Next, please. Uh, next, please. And in brackets, ten. Is the right answer? Oh. <laughs> you see, Munzer. <laughs> what do you think is happening here? Maths. <laughs> it's definitely maths. I'll tell you what's signified by the number in brackets. It's bases. So a hundred in base seven is two o two. In base eight one four four. In base nine one two one. And of course, in base ten, a hundred. So you gave me the right answer, <laughs> even if you found your own scenic route to get there. Well done. Back to you, Scrubs, the last question of the round. Two reads left there again. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Academy Award Father. Um, Oscars. I guess it's Oscar. 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 Next, please. Canadian Province Lover. Who is it? Was the province is Prince Edward or, you know, or Newfoundland? OK, yes. So, next, please. Mountain Range. That's dogs. Appalachian, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Appalachian. So what have we got here? Oscar. Oscar. Are they mountain ranges? Canadian Prince Edward. Prince Edward, so he's a little man too. I don't know. 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 Uh, Prince Anne. Prince Anne? Princess what? Anne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Princess Anne would not work in that sequence, I'm afraid. <laughs> Librarians, do you know? No, no idea. We've got costume winner. This is our old friend, the NATO alphabet. Academy oh, Award Oscar oh, Father Papa. Oscar Papa, Quebec Romeo, mm -hmm. Sierra Tango. Next would be Uniform Victor. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think, could you say that a princess is in a way a uniform? Is mm -hmm. Anne a victor, a winner of something? <laughs> but I've decided no. no. We needed something that meant Uniform Victor for UV in the NATO mm -hmm. alphabet. That means at the end of round two, the librarians have six points, the scrubs have seven. And on we go to the connecting wall. Scrubs, you chose to go second in the early round, so you can go first now. Would you like lion or water? Lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. OK, okay. so... So, vervet, we've got monkeys, vervet, spider, 
uh, TT. Um, oh, are these all these all characters played by Anthony Hopkins, Pope uh, Benedict, King Lear, Handel, King Lear. probably King Lear. Yeah. Mm. Shall I start trying some yeah, of these things? Let's go so for it. don't you try with the monkeys since yeah. you know that more. TT, capuchin, spider, vervet. Yes, possibly. Okay. Potentially ox eye. Go painted monkey. Oh yeah, yeah. painted monkey yeah. works as well. Pope Benedict, who do you think that is, Anthony? Pope Benedict is Anthony Hopkins. Pope okay, Anthony sure. Hopkins. All right. So Anthony. Odin is as well, isn't he? We've got mythical old yeah. people, potentially. Have we got one-eyed people, Diana. Um, mm. I'm not sure who Shasta is. That was not working very well. Oh, okay. Odin is Anthony Hopkins as well. So yeah, he Odin is, yeah. that group. Okay, did you say Benedict? King Lear. King Lear. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Spider Man. Shall I try it with Shasta? Yeah, that's it. Um, okay. Is TT also the name of that um, director? No, I can't no. see it. Okay, so. Lollipop Lady, Lollipop Lady. Man. Painted Lady, Lollipop Lady. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Um, any others? Shasta, maybe? No. no. Or Spider Lady. Spider Lady. Is that the same? Possibly. Don't know, Lady Diana? Diana? No. TT? Ox eye. Have we got any other parts of um, parts of the body? We've got body, eye, gone. ear, ki ear and King Lear, eye and ox eye. Um, nose and bottle no, nose. Nose and bottle nose. And, and chin. Uh, chin and capuchin. Okay, okay so, all right, so, so now let's do the monkeys. Spider, velvet. Just the monkey people. Yeah. Thinking, okay. Okay. Let's try those. And then we've got Methuselah, okay. Odin, <laughs> Hannibal, and maybe Pope Benedict. Yes. Okay, yes. okay let's Diana, do that then. Diana, lollipop, spider, painted. No. Okay. So that's not going to be a monkey. No, that's it. That's your three lives. The wall has frozen, but you found two groups. What about the connections starting ox eye? These all end in parts of the body. They do. Eye, ear, chin, nose at the ends of the words. And the next group starting Methuselah. Played by Anthony Hopkins. All roles played by Anthony Hopkins. And you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There we go. Lollipop painted Michaelmas Shasta. Lady? They are daisies. Oh. Michaelmas daisy, that lollipop daisy, sense. and yeah. so on. Ox eye was the red herring for that group. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Diana, Spider, TT, Vervet. Monkeys. monkeys? They are the monkeys. That's it. So you found two groups and you gave me three connections. That's a total of five points. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. Librarians, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall. Starting now. Tim Vine, David. David. Yeah, David Vine, David Dimbleby. Is there a Tim Ross? Uh, that sounds familiar. Um, Edward. Edward. Jam, Jam Records, Rough Trade. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, Okay, Motown, uh, Motown Records, Def Def Atlantic, Jam. Apple. 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 Atlantic. Okay, Rough Trade and Def Jam, I think, have to be. So, Apple, I can click. There we go. Okay. Um, um, David Dimbleby, David Davis, David Vine, yes. David oh. Van Tulliken. Oh, he's Van Tulliken. Oh, they're two of the doctors, isn't he? Twins' name. I can't remember. So, David. David Vine Dimbleby. Vine Dimbleby. No, David, Ross. just try oh, some Weddell Davids. Sea. Oh, oh, Amundsen, oh. Ross and uh, Edward, the other um, uh, Arctic Seas. Oh, OK. Yeah. Mm, so I'll try the David. I'll try the Davids again. Oh, yeah. um, so, Edward. is it David Ross? Ronald. Oh, uh, OK. So it's Motown. 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 Okay. Oh, Town, City, <gasps> Ward. Yes. And Bora, yeah. um, Motown, Tasty. Oh, yeah. So, Van Tulken, Weddell, Ross, Amundsen, should we try? No. Uh, David Davis, David Vine, David Dimbleby, um, and, and um, David Van Tulken, is he? I don't know. Sure, I'll try that one. What a life okay. left. Uh, so, maybe it's not. Is it? Fine. Dimbleby, Davis. I think Ross. Ross, OK. That's not it. That's your three lives. The wall has frozen. But you found two groups very quickly. And uh, what about the connections? Atlantic, Apple, Rough Trade, Def Jam. Uh, they're all record companies. They're music labels. Yeah. That's right. And the next group starting Tenacity. They all have, uh, they have city, town, ward and borough. That's right. They have conurbations at the ends of the words. And you can get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. 
There we go. Davis, Amundsen, and so on. I think they're all um, Antarctic seas. Antarctic seas named after explorers, that's right. And the last group, Vine, Dimbleby, and so on. Are they all Davids? They are not together. Davids. Oh. They're brothers. They're all brothers. Oh. Jeremy oh, cool. Vine and Tim oh. Vine. David and Jonathan Dimbleby, the Van Tullican brothers, and uh, Jonathan Ross and his brother Paul. But you found two groups and you gave me three connections, so that's a total of five points. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The librarians have 11 points, the scrubs have 12. And of course, uh, the first time you all met, it went to a tie break. Let's try to avoid that kind of stress this evening if we can. Good luck, teams. Fingers on buzzers. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all creative works associated with people called Turner. Librarians. What's love got to do with it? From Tina Turner. Scrubs. The Fighting Temeraire. J.M.W. Turner. Librarians. Body Heat. Well done, that's Kathleen Turner. Scrubs. Blue Peter. Lovely Anthea Turner. Next category, good luck. It's 15 letter words containing every vowel once. <laughs> Librarians. Grandeloquently. Correct. Scrubs. Hyperfunctional. Yes, it is. Scrubs. Unsportsmanlike. Well done. Don't know this one, it's neuropsychiatry. Next category, actors who have played butlers and the films in which they buttled. Scrubs. Michael Caine and The Dark Knight. Yes, it is. Librarians. Jim Carter and Downton Abbey. Lovely. Librarians. Dirk Bogart and The Servant. Yes, it is. That last one, Robin Williams and Bicentennial Man. I can tell you that it isn't a tie-break. There is a winner, but it's very close. Finishing with 17 points and through to the next round of the competition, it's the Scrubs. Very well played. Librarians, you finish on 16, just one point behind. I'm so sorry, you have been brilliant and you just nearly clinched the deal. But no, thank you so much for playing. Scrubs, we'll be seeing you again later in the competition. Very well done, well played. And thank you for watching. We're all off now for the annual Only Connect Sports Day gathering. It's not the actual sports day, that was this afternoon. But as usual, we all turned up with notes from our parents excusing us from doing it. And as usual, they all turned out to be forged and not from our parents. So now we've all got detention. Two hours in the library, not allowed to get up from our desks. It's the highlight of our year. Good night. <laughs>